Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to be doing a full product review of the Sandmark Dive Filters. They're about $30 US or $40 Canadian. You can check in my description for the link and a full review of the product, how to use them, how to set them up, and then how it looks with the footage as well, scuba diving. Okay, so the unboxing. Let's see what we got. So inside the little box here. You open up this, you get this. Open it up, it's not a ring, it's your filter set. So, you have a cleaning cloth, you want to clean your different filters. Then you have slots for all your filters, plus your filter adapter. Let's check out our filters here, so... Five different ones, different colors. So you have a five to twenty foot one, which is almost looks kind of orange, a bit lighter shade of red. Then we have our second one, which is twenty to fifty feet, a little bit darker shade of red. Clean those off a bit if you want. They also come with. Um, little plastic cover third one we got here 50 foot plus so this is definitely a lot more red you could tell so for the deeper you go then it looks like we got our magenta one so this is for green water fresh water lakes and so forth I'll do a test of the magenta one later on um, up in Tobermar and then you got your yellow one for night diving. I'll test that out later as well, maybe in the summertime. So I'll give you reviews on that. Alright guys, so we get our GoPro now. This is a GoPro Hero 6. It works for Hero 5s and Hero 6s. There's our dive suit. Or super suit, the GoPro version. It's about $70 Canadian or $60 US. So what we want to do so that our GoPro actually fits inside. So we gotta take off this lens cover. To do that we basically want to pull and turn at the same time. So pull it out and turn it counterclockwise. And then it just pops off. And it'll look like that. And again put this somewhere safe. And then we just simply now we could place it. Close it up. And we're ready to go. Alright, now that our GoPro is in our super suit, we could get our dive filters. And we have our cloth and a different set of filters. So we just take our little adapter with the opening at the top and we put it on. It's nice and snug like that. Just sits on like that. This cord you could tie up just in case so your filter doesn't come off. I never had a problem with it when I was diving. Then we take whichever one of our filters we want, so we'll just take the 5 to 20 feet. It's all the same. And then the top of the filter, we just slide it in. Just like that. And there's your filter. 
So nice and simple. You want to take it out again. Put it in. You're going deeper, so you want another one. Slide that in. And you're good to go. Alright, so now that we have our filter set up, let's go check out some footage. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like it. If um, you want to see more product reviews, more videos, I do them every Tuesdays and every Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more footage of the actual scuba diving, I did um, a few episodes from my Florida road trip. So there's a Key Largo episode with all that footage in there. And there's also some shark dive footage as well from when I was at Tampa. So thanks again for watching guys. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.